Today, we have done what we had to do. If necessary, we shall do it again. The attacks were concentrated and carefully targeted to minimize casualties among the people with whom we have no quarrel. From initial reports, our forces have succeeded in their mission. Today, we have done what we had to do. Several weeks ago in New Orleans, I warned we would hold his regime accountable for any new terrorist attacks launched against American citizens. More recently, I made it clear we would respond as soon as we determined conclusively who was responsible for such attacks. Our evidence is direct, it is precise, it is irrefutable. The evidence is now conclusive that the terrorist bombing of La Belle Discotheque was planned and executed under the direct orders of the United Nations Charter. For years, however, the United Nations suffered no economic or political or military sanction, and the atrocities mounted in number, as did the innocent dead and wounded. And for us to ignore, by inaction, the slaughter of American civilians and American soldiers, whether in nightclubs or airline terminals, is simply not in the American tradition. It must be the core of Western policy that there be no sanctuary for terror. And to sustain such a policy, free men and free nations must unite and work together. Europeans who remember history understand better than most that there is no security, no safety in the appeasement of evil. Self-defense is not only our right, it is our duty. Our evidence is direct, it is precise, it is irrefutable. Today, we have done what we had to do. Self-defense is not only our right, it is our duty. Today, we have done what we had to do. If necessary,